everybody. Welcome to our homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead and this morning I'm in the big garden and I am about to plant sweet potato slips. I have never planted sweet potatoes before uh, but we plan on it this year. Apparently they do really well in Missouri and we love sweet potatoes. Uh, while we were at the Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival, I picked up two sets of uh, sweet potato slips. Uh, each set has 24 in them, and I need about 40, so that's going to be about perfect for us. Uh, so I thought in my first potato slip planting uh, ever, I would bring you along and show you what I'm doing. To show you uh, the row that we're going to be planting them in, um, I have moved away all of the straw. You can see that tube is our irrigation system just in case we need to irrigate this summer. So I've pushed away all of the straw so that I can get right down to ground level and then I'm going to be planting right in here. Here is one set of the sweet potato slips that we got from uh, Baker Creek and there's the other set waiting for me. There's my morning coffee. I'm not quite awake yet, awake yet this morning. Um, so uh, there are apparently 24 slips in here and they've been kept wet in a paper towel and I've kept them in a mason jar with just a little bit of uh, water in the bottom just to keep everything wet until I've been ready to plant. So um, I haven't opened any of these up yet. I don't know what they look like inside. Uh, so bear with me here. I'm just going to peel this off. Okay, I did a little research online about like how deep to plant them and online it said uh, six inches. Look at these really nice. They've got nice roots already. It says to plant them six inches deep if you can. That seems really deep, but I'm going to trust the experts. Okay, here's one. These are really long. I hope that's a good thing. And um, their, their root system looks pretty good. So I tried to figure out how on earth I'm going to plant these six inches deep because that seems like an awful, awfully deep. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken my hand, my hand shovel and I've really shoved it down in there really far. And then I've pressed out a little bit, which makes kind of a cavity down in there. And then I think I'm going to try to just plop this in here. here. I'm just going to plop that in there and it definitely gets that down I would say five inches close enough. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to uh, push the dirt back on top of it like that and hopefully that'll That'll do. Now I also did re read that you should plant your sweet tomatoes in the evening, um, but that it just isn't working for me today, so it's first thing in the morning. So I am going to do that, and then I'm going to cover it up here with back up with the mulch, which in our case this year is straw. And then when I'm all done with all of them, I'll go through and I'll water really really well and give them a good head start. So when I'm all finished I'll show you my work and have them all in the ground. Okay guys so I want to show you a quick trick that uh, Kevin suggested that I do. Okay so I was concerned that I would put you know I would I would move the dirt way out over here and I would stick the slip in and if I covered it like there's an opportunity for me to only cover the first inch or two and then there could be still a space down there uh, which would not allow the roots to grow. So Kevin suggested that ahead of or in front of where I've dug to dig again, dig down and then pull it forward like this which will compact the soil down in there around the roots and then I can just cover that up like that. So I think that trick will work really well and I wanted to give you that little update so you can try that too. Now what I didn't tell you before also is that I read online to uh, plant these about 12, 10 to 12 inches apart and on our drip hose they have uh, a hole every 12 inches 
which is how I measure most of the time. So I am putting one every 12 inches. It looks like I'm about halfway done. So when I'm all done, I'll check back in. Okay. There we have it. 40 sweet potato plants. If they do well, you're gonna have sweet potatoes coming out of our ears. Hoo-hoo! Well, thanks guys, thanks for stopping by and I hope you learned a little bit of something. Uh, at the end of the season, when we're digging up sweet potatoes, we'll be sure to uh, bring you by and see how many we get or how few we get. Gosh, I hope we get a lot because we love sweet potatoes. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and comment and subscribe and we'll talk with you next time. God bless. Hey, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead today. We do truly appreciate every one of you for wanting to be part of our lives. Uh, we're now going to be putting out five new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time back on the homestead. God bless.